Hey, what's going on, party people? Greg Jenkins here from House Monkey Pod. And if you have heard me talk about Plus This in the past, you probably know that I am a big fan. Um, and one of my favorite features of theirs is a tool called Modern Forms, which allows you to sort of put a tuxedo on Keep Web Forms to make them look good and integrate seamlessly with your website. Um, and if you want to try that feature out, you can start a free trial with a discount for Plus This at monkeypodmarketing.com forward slash try plus this. But I know that not everybody uses Plus This or is ready for a subscription to yet another tool. So if you want to use native Keep Web Forms, but you also want to dress them up a little bit to, to smooth out the wrinkles that you may experience when integrating them into your website, you probably will need to use a little custom CSS, a little code to sort of make that fit into the, the spot on your website where you want that form to live. And if you are not a coder, as I am not, this can feel a little intimidating. So the other day, a friend of mine, Mr. Cameron Tullock, did a short demo of some CSS code that he created to improve the look and feel of a native Keep web form. And he was kind enough to record a video outlining everything that he learned and packaging it up so that we can all benefit from it as well. So without any further ado, take it away, Cameron. Hey, Kimberly and MonkeyPod friends. Um, I was reflecting back to uh, the webinar last week that uh, Jamie, Greg, and Jade did, and um, one of my main takeaways from that was that uh, even across all of the different form builders and things that are available to us, uh, styling a keep web form is one of the best ways to get to take advantage of the native features that are uh, there in um, in keep related to that web form. Uh, and following that webinar, I uh, committed to myself that I would do a better job at uh, styling web forms. I have a bit of a habit of just kind of taking them and using the Java version and throwing them up and kind of making them uh, good enough or close enough. So like uh, I have a page on my website that's using this podcast subscription sign up one right now, and I, I pretty much just embedded it exactly as it is. Um, but Kim, related to your question, uh, I am building my new website uh, for my rebranded business in Squarespace. Uh, so I thought I would take a swing at um, a short and a long answer to your question. So the short answer is that it's all about um, CSS. So uh, what I've done is uh, created a page called subscribe to the podcast. And then in that page, I've used the, um, the uh, code widget so I essentially just, you know, click to insert a new item. Uh, it's called code, but I think I, I always type in HTML to get the code one. And then I uh, dropped the unstyled text um, from keep into that spot. So uh, when I went over here to code, um, I went to HTML code unstyled and took this unstyled version. Um, from there, what I did was uh, created a, um, a custom style sheet, but because the keep code uh, has all of these classes that are infusion specific, right? Infusion field, uh, infusion checkbox, um, infusion recaptcha, these types of things. Um, it was not like a whole new style sheet. It's really just new entries uh, to the old style sheet. So um, I can show you how I came up with that. But essentially, uh, these, these uh, bunch of items here are new entries to the style sheet. So um, here I have it pasted exactly as it came from the unstyled thing in Keep. I'm going to go back to the home, then to design then to this thing here that says custom CSS. And this is just injecting um, the custom one I made into the uh, um, into the one that Squarespace is already using. So uh, I'm definitely no designer. Uh, I'm sure that this could be prettier than this, uh, but I just wanted to give that example that um, without that style sheet, it looks like this. 
and then with these things injected into the style sheet, it looks like that. And that is ultimately the way to make it prettier and dialed in. So like, uh, let me just undo that again. Um, I made it so that it was just bordered at the bottom with a heavy border in a specific color. Uh, I made it so that the input area was larger. I made it so that the input font was, um, was larger. Uh, I restyled the button, um, and all of that happened uh, here inside of the style sheet. So I think that's the short answer to your question, is that how do you make it pretty in Squarespace? Uh, you go to um, uh, design, custom CSS, and then inject uh, more CSS that calls uh, to these specific items. Uh, now again, I'm not a designer, so I'm sure that there are people who are gonna look at the CSS and think of ways I could make it more efficient. Um, but what I did was I, before pasting the text, the HTML version into here, um, I made a really basic uh, HTML file. So um, essentially I just put like these super basic things up here and I closed it at the bottom and everything in the middle is just that keep um, uh, in bed unstyled text version. Uh, and then I made a style sheet exclusively for formatting this web page. Um, what I then did was I, I just looked through this code to find all of the spots where a class was defined. So class infusion field, uh, class infusion field label container, class infusion recapture. I didn't really know what they all did, but I just copied all of those over here into style planning um, so that I could see kind of what, uh, what classes were defined. Uh, and then I used those, uh, I kind of created all of them um, in the style sheet uh, and I just uh, tried to manipulate it. I actually made everything super big font with a yellow background and a green foreground uh, until I could kind of identify what each thing was. Uh, and then once I could identify what each thing was, I decided which things I had to manipulate to make the field uh, or the form look the way I wanted. And in the end, um, I needed to customize these ones, uh, but not customize these ones to get uh, this basic uh, this basic result. So uh, designer friends, maybe you can tell me how to actually make it prettier. Uh, but from a technical perspective, uh, this is how I made it prettier. All right, so there you have it. Um, I am not a coder. Cameron probably would say he's not a coder, but with a little bit of perseverance, you can figure out the right combination of CSS lines in order to, to give your, your forms just that little extra polish that you need to embed them confidently into your website in a way that makes you proud of your brand while still retaining the, the power of automation that, that Keep can provide. Um, I also will uh, recommend that you feel free to give Cameron's website a look. He has been rebuilding his business as he rebrands it. Um, and he's just a, an excellent contributor in the Keep Partner community. So if you need anything that um, Cameron can help with, uh, I'm happy to steer you his way. It's OTM Automation. So go ahead and check those guys out, or at the very least, tell him you saw this video and appreciated his demo. That's it. Thanks for watching. Take care.